Alright, what's going on everybody? Uh, it's Willem from Simnomdo here and welcome to a new episode on the Discord, uh, Discord.js bot coding tutorial. Episode 7? It's been a long time since the last tutorial, but I mean, I did the music bot stream, but it's not really part of the series. But anyways, we're going to get back into this tutorial and this time I'll be fulfilling th the request by Fair xxtm which is to make an afk command or an afk system in general so i uh, so i'm gonna be doing that but i haven't actually coded this before so i'm gonna be coding it on the spot right now and think on the spot right now so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do module.exports.run as always so bot args and message first bot message args uh, if you guys don't know what's going on, um, you guys might want to follow from the beginning of the series and uh, know what what I did. I haven't changed any of the codes, so don't worry, you guys. If you were following since the first episode, then everything is the same. So we're gonna need a reason. So the first thing I can think of already with the reason is to have a default value, so that the reason would not be an empty string or whatever. So if there is a, if they mentioned a way to if they mentioned a reason to why they were AFK, then that is going to be the reason. If not, then uh, it's just going to have a simple default value. So let's do something like so. We're gonna go ahead and check everything in one line. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. So that's our condition. If that is untrue. Or of course you can go ahead and type true here, but there's no point doing that. It's just this this already said that if true. If this true, then we're going to go ahead and set it to this. Else if it's that's the true statement. And if this is false, if uh if this returns false, then we're gonna have a default value of I am currently AFK. Currently AFK. Please I will reply as soon as possible. Even though this isn't really a reason, but we're just gonna have it there just to not leave a blank message or whatnot. So the next thing we're gonna need is our little bit of a construct and hold so hold on before I actually continue, let's actually show you guys what this actually does. So return message to reply and then we're just gonna reason. So let's go ahead and start the bot. And if I actually come here right now, if I do AFK, you can see if I do that, it's just going to return the um, default value because I haven't entered anything, meaning that this returns false. So if I do AFK test, it should return test because that is our reason right there. So that's what it does. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let construct. We're going to make a construct, whatever you want to call it. This is really just an object. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, so I'm just going to simply call it um, construct. So we're going to go ahead and do message for author ID, and then we're going to also need the reason, which is going to be simply uh, reason, uh, which we're all going to need a comma here as well. Next thing we're going to think of doing is I think I'm going to use a map. Obviously, you can use probably use an, something else like a JSON file, um, but I'm going to use a map. So we're going to go ahead and make this global so that we can go ahead and use this in all the files as well. So now we're going to do bot .afk and dot set. We're going to set the key array as the author ID. Um, there's no reason not to, and we're also going to go ahead and pu push construct inside and this should be entirely it so let's go ahead and return a little bit of a message so return return something like message dot reply and uh, you have been you have been set to afk for reason uh let's go ahead and put this into in template literal so let's do that and then we'll just go and go ahead and do reason then we're going to go ahead and delete the message. So message the delete. So in five seconds, it's going to delete it. Now, in theory, this should work. I am that this is at least what I'm thinking of doing on the spot. So in theory, this should work, but we're not done yet. We need to check if message dot um, 
yeah, if message dot content dot includes, we're gonna make sure to check for a mention. So that should be message dot mentions dot users and then dot first. So this should be that. So now what we're gonna need need to do is we're gonna need to loop through our bot dot afk map. So I'm gonna do for each because this is basically it. So we're gonna need a key which is gonna be our key item. Uh, which is measures the author the ID, um, but then we're gonna need to do is inside of here we're gonna go ahead and fetch the user. So then we're gonna do bot dot no message dot guild dot fetch user and fetch a member, and then we're gonna get the key ID, which is gonna be our which is gonna be message the author ID. And then we're going to do that then. At least this is what I think it is. I can't really remember, remember the code at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and do member. So then let user tag equals to member.user.tag. Yep, if it says it's correct, then it's correct. All right. Now we got, we've gone ahead and fetched a member. We've got the user tag. And so now what we can do is we're just going to go ahead and return something like message dot channel dot send and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do make this bold because we want it bold and we're gonna go ahead and do user tag is currently AFK and then we're gonna go ahead and put out the reason which is gonna be key dot reason. Now this in theory should work. I so let's go and restart the bot so if I do AFK, my it should set me to the default value AFK, and sh this message should be deleted within five seconds. And yeah, there we go. And uh, if I go ahead and mention myself, there you go. I am currently AFK. If I could actually ask him to test something for me. So hopefully who actually um ah there's the problem. All right, I need to actually make sure to check if a message if key dot id is equals to message dot mentions dot users dot first. Then we can go ahead and do that. This should work now. Right, just do the just do the now if I do the AFK command and if I uh, mention myself, then it should be working. Or not? Hmm. If the key dot id is equals to dot id, we need to make sure to get the id of it. So if I do AFK and set this to the default value, and if I go ahead and do len now, it should work. There we go. If I mention someone else, it shouldn't work. Right. Right, now he's AFK, and if I mention him, there we go, he's AFK. I should also be AFK. There we go. There you go. Um, we we've got the AFK command done, sort of. But as you can see, it works, and uh, of course you can go and do something like this, and it it will also still work. I uh, didn't mean to type hello. Um, so if I do this, it should also do that as long as I mentioned, because it's in the args. So that's that. It, it's working perfectly, and um. What we're going to do is, obviously we can always set a new reason, but 
it's going to error it's going to be it's going to confuse the system right now because it's just going to go ahead and um, reset a new one even though I already exist so we're going to need to do a check so if there is no it, let's go ahead and do um, let afk list equals bot dot fk dot get and then the message to author the ID. So if this doesn't exist, if there's no afk list, then then this entire thing is going to happen. Then we're gonna do else else just simply go ahead and um, if if it doesn't exist then it's gonna do that. Else, it's just going to go ahead and remove a message or the ID. So it's just going to go ahead and delete me from the the list. So and if message or author dot ID is equal to um, one of those, so we're going to actually need to actually test. Uh, we're going to have to need to do another one of this so let's go ahead and put this in here and uh we'll just go and put this in here you have been removed from the afk list so if we go ahead and do that so for each and then i'm going to go ahead and get the key again this essentially essentially should work. So for each, so if message to author dot id is equals to key dot id, then what's going to go and happen is that uh, we're going to go ahead and remove it. So bot dot q um, bot dot afk dot delete message dot author dot id. Now in theory this should work just like I want it to. So let's go ahead and do afk. Uh, a little test and uh, that's my reason for AFK and Len I should be rem I, I, I should be removed from AFK even though I said that now so if I go ahead and do a Len now I should no longer be AFK as you can see I am no longer AFK so right so let's go ahead and ask him to test it uh, hopefully he actually respond if I do something like, alright, let's do AFK, it should, it should set me as AFK, and then you have been set to AFK again, um, which is weird, which is odd. I think it's because I'm actually getting rid of my own AFK when I send that message. If, I, if it doesn't exist, but if I'm already in it, then I'm obviously just going to go have to delete it. I actually completely missed if I actually typed it or not. All right. Um. Now, okay, right. Um, <laughs> he's AFK, so I'm just asking him to send a random message. Uh, hopefully, this will actually deal with it. And uh, if I go and do that. So, nope, wrong person. Right, if I go ahead and do that, he's no longer AFK um, because it's just removed him from AFK list. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come here and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy and paste this. So, if I go ahead and do that and restart the bot, let's do a okay, little test. And if I type something, it should say that you have been removed from the AFK list. There we go. Now I'm no longer AFK. Just like that. So, here is what I don't get. So if I'm not in the AFK list, it's going to go ahead and set me into the AFK list. Otherwise, it's just going to go ahead and do that. But let's actually remove the L statement here. So let's try this now. 
So if we go ahead and do AFK test, and we do AFK, right? I, yeah, it's because I'm removed instant uh, the the moment I type, I get removed. So we don't really need that. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, the the AFK command is done, and the AFK system is done. You know, it's actually really simple. You don't really need to check for people to retime AFK because you already have this here to do and remove a view from AFK because you sent a message. Honestly, I never thought it would be this this simple, but it works. So I guess it's all in all, it's all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's a little bit long because I was coding on the spot, but everything has worked out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And uh, if you really enjoyed it and really, really helped you, then subscribe and stay tuned for future episodes because I'm going to be making more in the future. But other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.